Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I make spaghetti squash. This is my homegrown spaghetti squash and I love spaghetti squash because it's super simple and it's low carb. It goes very well with a lot of things. It's really versatile. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is pierce the squash in a few places. This will prevent it from exploding. Put it in the microwave on about 10 to 12 minutes. When it comes out, the knife should easily cut into the squash, but the skin should be nice and firm. Now it's hot. Let it cool and then cut it lengthwise. Look at that goodness. Set your skillet on medium and you have olive oil, butter, and garlic. You're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of butter, and about two cloves of garlic to your skillet. Now, I'm not the most patient person in the world, so this is really hot. I'm gonna scrape out the seed and the pulp. I'm using this towel to hold it because it's super hot. Now, the inside, which is the spaghetti, should easily scrape away from the outside. You see that, how it easily just scrapes away? And that's what you want. You want it to easily come free. Now we can add that to our skillet. So just scrape it out, you know, kind of where you're separating the spaghetti, making it loose and free. Get all that goodness into your skillet. going to do this with both halves because believe me one half is not going to be enough all right it's in the skillet and you're just going to stir it up mix all those flavors in the butter the garlic um, the olive oil get it all you know nice and coated in those flavors and in that oil so that you prevent it from burning now is the point where you can season it. So it's really entirely up to you what you want this to taste like. Um, I'm basically preparing it as I would like a, like, you know, like a spaghetti. So I'm just using seasonings of my choice. You want to make sure you use some salt because there really is no flavor to the squash unless you flavor it. Now I'm adding about a quarter cup of water and then I'm gonna let that cook out. This is just going to make sure that the squash is cooked thoroughly. Now my water is all cooked out. It looks like it might be a little mushy, but believe me, it's not. The squash retains its crunchy texture, and that's what makes it yummy. So I have this pesto because I love pesto. Simple chicken breast, spaghetti squash, topped with sauteed spinach with green beans. 